short introduction on the new declarative WAF in Advanced WAF version 16.0. In version 16.0, we improve the declarative WAF. Declarative WAF means with one call, I want to create a WAF policy. And of course, this WAF policy is a template, is a file somewhere. In version 16.0 and 15.1, but with some limitations, we now have the capability to create a WAF policy from a template, like, like in the GUI, but using one call. So, Let's use Postman to understand. So first of all, I need a WAF policy. The WAF policy is located, reside in GitLab, a private GitLab for my demo. Okay, so in, this, in my internal network, I have a GitLab where the SecOps upload the WAF policy for an application or for a template of application or a framework. So here you can see it's an API. So it's much more powerful because as you can see in my JSON file, the WAF policy now is a JSON, and this JSON is exactly the same as the Nginx app product. And I will cover this WAF in the next video. So here it's a, it's a WAF policy with a name. You can see the template used will be API security. I define an enforcement mode, blocking. I don't want transparent. Three different server technologies to assign some signatures. Signature staging disabled. And at the end, you can see my Swagger file. Or open API file. It's an API security uh, WAF policy. So I need an open API file. And this file, as you can see, is located in Swagger Hub. It could be hosted anywhere. It could be in GitLab as well. But for for the demo, I prefer Swagger Hub because it's graphical. Okay. So this is my Swagger file. It's a banking application, as you can see on the right, with four different URL, uh, three ports, one GET. And for, for one of them, I can buy stocks and I need to provide with some parameters, integer or string. So this is, this is a Swagger file, okay? And you can see here some example of the, of the request and of the response. This is part of the Swagger. It's a YAML file. So now with one JSON, I should be able to create a WAF policy with, uh, with a Swagger file imported. So let's do it. The call is here, so this is the call uh, on slash task slash import policy. I uh, will share in the description the link to the Dev Central article explaining this. But as you can see, it's an external reference, file reference. This is part of 16.0 only. In the 15.1, you have, you have to push the file to the Big IP. Here, the Big IP can download the file from an external link. And this is the link to the GitLab. The JSON file, okay? So if I click send, I should have a policy now. So let's refresh. Policy is here. Blocking mod, as expected. API security template. The Swagger file is here, okay? You can download it. Blocking mod. So Linux, MySQL, going to be everything that I set in my JSON. Okay, so good. Now, let me show you if I need to update this policy. Let's assume there is a new Swagger file because a new API arrived, a, a fifth URI to make, to I don't know, to make money transfer or to refer friends or something new. To do so, I just have to refer the existing policy with the full path. This is the path of my policy. So if I have an update in my JSON file because the SecOps updated this file in the GitLab, because they discover false positive or because uh, the policy was too permissive. Just send a new call. That's it. Okay, so it's sent. You can see the 201. And here I should see, if you, when I'm gonna, going to refresh, we should see a warning here telling there is a new version. Yeah, I have a new version. Okay, so I just have to apply it. I can apply it in a GUI or can apply it with, an, with, a, with, a, with a call, okay? If I want to apply a policy, it's here. Just apply policy. So easy. Okay, so now let's let's delete this uh, this policy, okay? So that I can show you how to push everything with one call, okay? Let's do it. Okay, and now let me show you how to create a service from scratch with one call. 
of course, we're going to use S3, our declarative interface. So here, as you can see, I have an S3 declaration file. So it's a JSON. It's pretty easy to understand. OK, so I have to select my, my tenant. My tenant will be API prod. It's, it's, a, it's a folder partition. Uh, and then I will create an HTTPS service on the IP address 10.27. This is a VIP. I'm going to create a pool. OK, my pool is an Nginx uh, instance here on port 20.9, uh, on IP 20.9, port 80.80. And here is a new thing. As you can see here, it's similar to my previous call. I refer to an external URL to create this policy. OK, and it creates the policy for me. And I refer this policy in my service. So let's do it. It takes some seconds, five to 10 seconds, okay, to create all the objects, all the profiles, and then at the end, the service. So, okay, 200 okay now. If I get back to my big IP, on the top right corner, I can see my new partition, API prod, my virtual server on IP 10.27, on a policy, I can see my policy. And if I get back to security policy, now have my policy. OK, the policy has been downloaded from, sorry, downloaded from the GitLab. And, the, and then the big IP downloaded the Swagger Hub, the Swagger file from Swagger Hub. So now with one call, I have a service running. And if I need to update it, I send a new call. This is the declarative of. Thanks for watching and see you soon.